G'day guys, and welcome back, finally, to another episode of Life Gone Wild. I'm here at Tasik Kenyir, or Lake Kenyir, on the outskirts of Taman Nagara National Park here in central peninsula Malaysia. It's about 7.30 in the morning, and the forest is full of life. There are so many birds around, insects everywhere. The gibbons and the sea among haven't started up yet, but it's only a matter of time. This week, I've been taking part in a behavioural study of a particular little bird, and we've gotten... I, I cannot even begin to tell you how lucky we've gotten. This is something that potentially nobody else in the world we believe has ever seen before, and we're the first people to get it on film. I'm so excited. Just behind me up here is a little bird's nest. In fact, two of them. One of them isn't being used, but one of them is where all of this is happening. Here we can see the two nests and a female black naped monarch sitting on the nest in use. These birds are sexually dichromatic, meaning the male and the female have different coloration. Males are a much lighter blue over most of their body with a black marking on their chin, while the females look a bit darker, just like this one. But what is it? that makes this little bird's nest so special. Normally, the black naped monarch is monogamous, meaning we have one male and one female. They incubate the egg together, then fledge the chick once they're born, and then let them go out into the wild to live their own lives. But unusually, that's not what's happening here. In fact, we've got two nests right next to each other. One of them unused, and one of them is where we lay our scene. In this nest, we're seeing two female black naped monarchs incubating the eggs. Like I said, we're pretty sure that no one else has ever seen this behavior, and certainly no one has ever gotten it on film, until now. Here we see the two nests side by side again, with a female black naped monarch brooding if you listen closely, you can hear a call before the other female appears around the nest and the brooding female flies away. Roughly 85% of bird species take part in bi-parental care, where a mating pair equally contribute to feeding and guarding offspring. About 9% use monoparental, with 1% of those being male only. To the best of my knowledge, it is very rare to have two females incubating the same nest, and even more so to have no male involved in the process at all. This makes this such a special find. Over the weeks that we spent watching the nest, the male was very rarely spotted. I think I only saw him once during our observation period of the nest, which involved sitting across the road from the site between 7am and 7pm and recording behaviours throughout the day, in particular the shift change. I'd say though that we probably left with even more questions. We happened to see both females defending the nest from other slightly larger bird species. And we also observed a species of Malkoha, a relative of the cuckoo that also parasitizes nests, removing an egg from the nest, though we never saw it return and lay its own egg in the nest. We knew that a Malkoha species parasitizes black naped monarch nests, but we never knew which species. However, both the females continued to return to the nest, suggesting that there were still eggs in there. So either we missed the Malkoha laying its egg in the monarch nest, or there are still monarch eggs inside the nest. The time spent in the nest is varied. Sometimes as little as 15 minutes, sometimes as long as an hour. The time they go up to an hour, just before the hour mark, the female bird started calling repeatedly, as if saying, hey, I've been here too long. Take over. And sure enough, not too long after, the shift changed, the other female came and called the other one away. The other female that had been incubating the egg was able to go off and feed, rest, whatever it might have been doing, I don't know. I couldn't follow them. Black naped monarch chicks get quite large compared to the size of their nest. And once they've hatched, you tend to be able to see their little heads poking up out of the nest as they cry for food. This alternate angle of the nest 
allows us to keep an eye on any potential hatchings that may have gone on without us noticing. We're also able to get a better look to see if the females might be bringing food for any chicks that may have hatched. Nesting birds make for some really interesting subjects to watch. I spent a little bit of time in Madagascar watching some paradise flycatchers nesting there. So it's really, really interesting to see another bird, a little bit smaller perhaps, also nesting and seeing some of the different behaviours that they take part in. I mean, who could have imagined that we'd be here watching two females incubating the same nest? During spring, when the nesting season comes around, I strongly encourage you to jump out in your backyard. Have a look around, look up in the trees, see if you can find some birds nesting. Sit down and watch. See, is it male and a female? Just the female? Is it two females and a male in and around the nest? Who knows? You could find something just as special. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time.